Hello kids, this is your first lesson. Today we are going to learn lesson 1, a computer system. In this lesson, you will learn what is a system, what is a computer system, what are the components of a computer system, what is the central processing unit, what is the system unit. As I go through the lesson, I will explain certain definitions. You have to remember them. You will be tested on them. What is a system? A system is a set of elements or components or pieces which work together. All the pieces of the system are interrelated and interactive. Here there are two examples given. First one ecosystem as shown in the picture in page 2 in your textbook all animals and plants in the pond is depending on each other for their survival so you can say they are interrelated second one solar system all the planets in the solar system are moving together around the sun because of the sun's gravity they are not getting pulled towards the sun because of Jupiter's gravity and each other's own gravity. The thing to remember is in a system, the components of a system are integrated, interrelated and interactive. Now you know the meaning of the word system. Let's see what is a computer system. A computer system is a combination of hardware, software and liveware that work together to receive a set of inputs, process them and gives an output. Hardware. All the physical parts of a computer belongs to the hardware category. In simple words, hardware means all the parts that you can touch in the computer. Examples, keyboard, mouse, monitor, CPU, like that. Software, all the programs that run on or control the hardware parts of a computer belongs to the software category. Examples, system software, and application software. System software are software that helps to run the application software. Example, uh, the operating systems. Application software are software programs like MS Word, PowerPoint, Logo, Livia. People who uses the computer like you and me. Components of a computer system. Now, look at the diagram. Let's try to understand this. Pay attention to the er arrows. It's easy to understand the diagram with the arrows. They also tell you who each other is connected. On your left corner, there is the inputs. And to your right corner, you have the output. In the middle, you have the process, which is controlled by the program on top. Now, when the input goes through a process, which is controlled by a program to produce the desired output, towards the bottom, you have storage, so that the process can send process data to the storage. Remember, the process is carried out in the central processing unit. In short, we call this the CPU. Further explaining the previous slide. The computer is a machine that works with one or more inputs to provide data. This data then processed according to the instructions given to it and after the data has been processed, the result of the processing are usually sent to an 
output device. Sometimes the processed data is stored in storage devices. The central processing unit is the brain of the computer. It is the most important part of a computer. It performs the basic function of the computer. That is the processing of data. It consists of three main parts called the arithmetic and logic unit, shortened form ALU, the control unit CU, the memory unit MU. This is the illustration of the central processing unit. The central processing unit is divided into three parts, the arithmetic logic unit, the control unit, and the memory unit. The arithmetic logic unit performs all the arithmetic and logical operations. The control unit is in charge of controlling all the parts connected to the computer, while the memory unit stores data. The memory unit is further divided into two parts called the primary memory and the secondary memory. The primary memory is again divided into two parts called random access memory or the RAM and read only memory or ROM. RAM is a temporary memory storage which gets erased when the power to the computer is switched off. This is called volatile memory because this memory is depend on electricity. ROM is a permanent memory which the information stored in it gets not erased when the power to the computer is switched off. So, this memory is called non-volatile memory that is not depend on electricity. ROM is the non-volatile memory. RAM is a volatile memory. This diagram is important and you have to remember this. This is a picture of a standard system unit. Some call this the tower, computer chassis, the base unit or simply the case. This holds the main components of a desktop computer. We will go through some of the parts in a later session. Hope you enjoyed. As I said earlier, you have to remember this lesson well. Read your textbook and go through this presentation. See you soon with the second part of this lesson. Good luck and thank you. Stay safe.